So right there is the official Warzone mobile lobby screen. And you guys want to know everything about Warzone mobile, from operators to weapons. This video is going to cover that. But before it starts, in celebration of Warzone mobile, I'm giving away a $10 mobile gift card. All you have to do is hit a like on this video and drop a comment down below with your favorite feature about Warzone mobile. Okay, so here it is. This is the official lobby screen. Again, it's pretty static right now doesn't look you know very updated you can't really rotate the character it does say limited release on there which means that you know soft launch could be next right here is the warzone loadout so warzone is going to have up to four loadouts this is going to be for the battle royale so you can see assault rifles you can see battle rifles smgs shotguns lmgs marksman rifles sniper rifles and a melee as well so there's so many different sort of weapons and everything in the game. It's going to be sick. There's going to be Warzone mobile loadouts for the Battle Royale mode. And then there's also going to be multiplayer loadouts specifically for the multiplayer mode as well. So you're going to be able to mix and match. There's probably going to be different metas in multiplayer and Battle Royale. And remember, it's cross progression as well. But here is the operator screen. So you can see Rangers 1 there. You can see Choi. He looks pretty sick. Uh, there's Gus right there with his little mustache and his little beret going on. Uh, we've got a little character called Zemo. Uh, looks like quite a small character as well. Uh, you've got Cleo. Um, next up is Nova as well, which is one of the ones highlighted in the trailer. You've also got Gromsko, which is a ghillie suit guy. You've got Reyes, um, which looks pretty cool as well. It looks like kind of a pilot. You've got Luna, which kind of looks similar to the Rose skin. Very popular in Warzone, if you know what that is. Um, next on the other side, on the Cortex side, um, you've got some. Uh, you've got Fender. You've also got Konig. You've got Cortex Group One. You've got Horangi or Horangi. Callisto as well. She looks pretty dope. Kind of similar to Rose, just without the mask. Uh, Hutch, who's this beefy character. Um, Rose, who's actually called Rose but isn't Rose. And then you've got Zero as well. He's got a cool sort of looking helmet on. And then you've also got Connor. Um, looks like a you know generic UK sort of ginger army guy and then axel as well on the end um so those are all the operators that's going to be in the game uh right here you can see the settings that are currently in the game this is probably going to change towards the soft launch but you can see there you've got controls where you can customize the huds and the controls you can optimize the visual graphics as well we'll go through them one by one so this is going to look confusing as hell okay you've got the controls right here top right you've got default auto but you can customize your hud you can select auto fire on you can have automations on and off as well it's going to be confusing i'll show you right now when you actually go into the hud it's i've actually customized mine at the london event so when you first go into it, it's going to be very confusing. I think the devs know about this. We give them a lot of feedback and they're going to be making um, a lot of adjustments and making it probably a lot easier to set the HUD up because trust me, when you load into it, there's about a million buttons straight away that you need to put on. And there's some buttons that don't even need to be on there. So definitely going to be customized. But this is what my four finger HUD looks like. Um, you've got a firing button, you've got a jump everything you need on there and i've looks like i've got literally a million gold or, or dollars already so man's rich in the game before it's even out okay next up if we go over you can see four tabs at the bottom you've got gameplay pretty much the same sort of gameplay settings as you would see feel free to pause on here if you want to find out anything one interesting one right there is the climb stairs button there's going to be a button where you can go up to some stairs. You can press a button and your character will automatically go up them. So you don't have to run up them yourself. So you don't, you can literally be a lazy git and you don't even have to use, you know, your fingers to run up a stairs. You can select auto and your character should automatically run all the way up to the top. Too much gameplay settings. You know, these mobile games bring out a lot of them. Uh, this is the interface settings as well, uh, where you can, you know, you fix joystick, you can... Um, select different things. Then you've got sensitivity. I found that the sensitivity is very high. The recoil on a lot of the guns is... Well, let me start with the aim assist first. The aim assist isn't that strong in the game. It's not that strong. Um, so you're going to actually have to use skill to aim. But the sensitivity when you first start is going to be super high. They'll probably adjust that. But the sensitivity you've got for everything, you've got ADS sensitivity, you've got different multipliers for different zooms. So it's going to be a lot easier for you guys to set your exact sensitivity settings, which I'll go over in a future video. And then we take back to the lobby screen right here. Um, all of the generic stuff, you can see friends list, you can see the game modes. And yeah, that's pretty much most of uh, the stuff. So the graphic settings right now, there's only quality and performance. There obviously is going to be more added into the game. There's going to be a lot of optimization going into this game. We've spoken to the devs. They, they know that is literally number one priority. So you guys on those low RAM phones, the low, low to mid-end devices, 
they know about it and they're going to be improving that for us so that's good to hear so you've got performance and you've got quality that's the only things that were available at the event um you've also got your audio settings that's that's you know pretty uh pretty standard uh, juggernaut music i noticed on there maybe they're gonna bring some like boss music when a juggernaut lands i don't know uh, but then you've also got everything else you know you've got your socials where you can do group invites you can turn everything on i can't see proximity chat a lot of you guys know that warzone pc and console 2.0 has got proximity chat and it is sick so hopefully the devs can add proximity chat as well so you control in the game because that'll be some good video content um and that's basically it so you can also manage your account where you can have a block list you can have two-factor authentication on which means you're probably going to have to make an activision account to log in at the moment it's cross progression so if you're on modern warfare 2 you log in with an activision account and then you can use that same account on mobile to carry on uh, carry over all of your pc and console stuff and vice versa so you can get from mobile to pc as well which is dope um that means weapon skins battle pass everything so you're gonna have be completely covered so you don't have to worry about losing out on anything um that's it guys so that is basically warzone mobile in a nutshell i'm gonna end now on just watching some uh, some of the gameplay I actually captured from the event so check this out remember to hit a like and comment down below as well for your chance of winning a 10 dollar gift card uh, so right here is the warming up screen again textures and everything just looks insane um i think i've got the m4 out right now and excuse my aim as well uh you guys know i'm cracked at mobile but i was definitely not cracked on a mobile at this event it was very laggy the buttons were, were weren't you know fully optimized yet so yeah a bit all over the place but that's uh that's the m4 shooting uh, just about bopped and a lot of you guys have noticed about well i've complained about the the hit markers as well they're super big i agree the hit markers do need to be reduced so fingers crossed that the devs can uh, can fix that before global launch um but yeah this is warm up if we skip ahead right now and just go over to the uh the loading in screen this is uh blitz royale which was uh, a game mode in warzone mobile that basically it's a, a smaller zone and a lot more action packed basically so the zone shrinks a lot quicker um so here we go so we're gonna load in right now i've landed on hospital roof and yeah pick up the i'm not sure i think that's an ebr i've just picked up there um we've got the supply boxes which you know they're quite easy to open the the sort of stuff flies out from them um let me skip ahead a tiny bit to get a bit of action i'm pretty sure there was some uh, some guys here uh yeah so i'm dropping down right now and there was a guy literally zipping up and that was a real player as well actually zipping up to me so of a roof and hospital as well so the helicopter i want to try out this is what the helicopter actually looks like it's kind of scuffed at the moment there's um this guy actually did fly down at me and uh i just popped him out of the air with the ebr so bloody corn is down and this is the helicopter it's quite hard to control a helicopter it doesn't go as fast as what i expected it looks faster than what it actually felt like in the game um but yeah it's got some missiles that you can shoot out as well i'm pretty sure that means that you can blind people with those missiles it's kind of like a flashbang thing um and then uh this guy pretty much uh came up the stair came up the ladder to me and i dropped off went to him and um and then he i think this was definitely a bot so this is just a bit of game gameplay to show you know what 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 the bots are kind of like in the game they're kind of you know they just follow you around there are going to be bots in the game which is going to be unfortunate and yeah we destroyed him right there we'll get one finisher on him right there if i can actually use the finisher the buttons again were quite sticky so it was hard to press them but there it is right in the throat and i can't remember what operator that was but that was the uk guy right so a bit more gameplay uh, just to show you some of the uh, some more kills that i got actually in the rooms it's quite dark the atmosphere so the brightness definitely needs to be uh sort of heightened as well it needs to be upgraded um and that's basically it so thank you so much for watching this video uh that is warzone 2. Point, well sorry warzone mobile gameplay and everything you need to know about the game right now at its stage the soft launch should be next as you saw by the limited release um sort of picture at the beginning in the lobby screen and that's it guys so thank you so much for watching make sure you hit a like and comment down below for the ten dollar gift card and i'm going to be doing some more apex content for you guys too so peace